And that's what I look for. I'm not, I'm not looking for people to come sell insurance. They're going to quit, okay, down the road. I'm looking for people who want to come here and build, become a leader, change their life while they're changing other people's lives. That's Everybody gets 40 acres and a mule, okay? And what you do with that 40 acres and a mule is totally up to you. Some people, some people do a lot with it. You know, don't do nothing with it. Some people whine because they got a mule, not a tractor. So, you know, it, but it's, it, we all get the same thing. You know, people like Edward, Edward Pritchett, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't want all the land. He just wants to land next to his land, you know? So that's what he's done with his 40 acres and a mule. So it's, you know, it's, it's, we all start the same. That's what I want you to understand today. It's just not, you're no different. You know, you, you look around, you see some people that have some gigantic organizations, all they, all they have is a head start on you. Okay. But I've been in insurance, business. my background, I've been in insurance business 38 years. Um, I've been in the, the building insurance business for 38 years. I've never been like an insurance salesperson. I would have starved to death a long time ago trying to sell insurance, but I've been in the people business for 38 years. And that's, uh, you know, Melissa knows this. By the way, Melissa, this is the third third call I've done for you. And it's the third time in a row that you've sent me the wrong Zoom thing. So I appreciate that. It's a test. I thought I was the least IT tech person in this company. I am not. You are. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm starting to get a complex, just a little bitty complex. But I am, by the way, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Melissa Weagle. I didn't, I didn't meet you. Melissa, how long have you been here? Um, be seven years in July. Seven years. And yet we met in what, Costa Rica last year, maybe? First time I've ever had a conversation with her. I knew who she was. I knew about her story. I knew she had a great story. And and what I also knew was that, that she gets up every day and works. You know, this is this is the kind of people I like to deal with, people I like to be around. You know, she works when she doesn't feel like it. She gets up every day and works for y'all. She doesn't work for herself. And, you know, you need to take advantage of that because most people in symmetry don't have that advantage. So I am a, a huge fan. She asked me to do a call, I'll do a call. And we had an opportunity to spend a little time together in Cancun a couple of weeks ago, you know, before we were interrupted by somebody who wasn't invited to our, our talk, right? So, but 38 years. And, I, you know, I've been with symmetry. I've been in the mortgage protection business now for since 2006, I think. And uh, I was with another IMO, just to show you what you have hold of here. I, I was with another IMO in the, the same IMO that Brandon and Casey came from and several people that are in symmetry came from that IMO. I was, I was there seven years and in seven years now, well, it's a seven years, I built an agency of about, I had between 45 and 50 agents writing business every month. We did about 250, 260,000 a month in premium. And uh, I was making about 260,000, all of it passive. Um, I ran appointments my first four years there. I didn't run appointments my last three. I, I just built my agency to that massive size of 45, 50 writers, 250,000 a year. And I came here. And now, we, you know, I have 380 something writers last, last month. We did over 2 million last month. Um, and, and I tell you that to tell you this, okay? I didn't get that much better from that other place to here. It's just that this place is better. You know, everything's better. Ownership's better. Culture's better. The leads are better. The products are better. It's just everything is better here. So if you, you know, if you ever want to see how good you could be at something, how big a piece of something you could get, this is your place. If you do, if you do the right things long enough, which is the, you know, the cause of death of most people here is they don't do the right things long enough. So that's my background. And I'm here today just to talk to Melissa. No, absolutely. And thank you so much, Danny. And um, what most of y'all probably don't know, but Danny sends me his recordings every week from his calls. And every week, Danny's focus is on excitement, building, motivating. And whenever I talk to Danny, I feel like I could go, you know, I could go run a marathon, right? Even though I know I can't, like my body, I'm not in that good of shape, but that's how he makes me feel. And that is the presence and the aura, especially right now at this time with the Ruspin organization is what Danny does best is he says he only does two or things really good, but those things that he does that are really good can inspire and they can move mountains. They can change your mindset. They can open up your mind to the possibilities of where you can get to in this business. 
And that is the crux. That is the focus that I want Danny to pour into you guys today, because that is his sweet spot is encouragement and sharing his story and how that can work for you too. This isn't, Danny's not lucky. He's intentional, right? He's very intentional. And those are some of the stories that Danny, I want you to share with the team, if you don't mind doing that. Well, you know, people come here and we get people from all walks of life, you know, it's just, it's just this is a potpourri, you know, there's just all kinds of people that show up here. And I think the mistake, well, this is a lot of people make, because you understand if you want to come here and learn everything, you need to set aside about 20 years, you know, if you want to learn everything on the, on the product side, because there's only, there's only two sides to this thing. Okay. There's a product side and there's a people side. So if you want to make pennies, you, you get over here on the product side and stay there. If you want to make dollars, you get over on the people side and stay there. And, you know, she said, I'm good at two or three things. I'm really, I really am good at those two or three things, but one of them is the people side of the business. I spend, listen to me, this is an approximate number, Melissa. Okay. But I spend a hundred percent of my time on the people side of my business. All right. I don't know products. I don't care about products. I don't know how many products carriers have. I don't care. I've, I've never ever, for example, I've never eight years, four months. I've never logged into America's law, uh, website. Wouldn't know how to find it. And, and they're not by themselves. I, I just don't do that. Okay. Cause that's not, first of all, it's not my strength. Secondly, it's not where the money is. You know, if you're going to, if you're going to build something here, or if you want to, let me put it this way. If you want to take advantage of everything that symmetry has to offer, you have to build, you got to build an agency. You know, now, if you come here, you, you just want to sell, you can do that. We don't, we don't care. We'll let you do that until you quit because you're going to quit down the road. Okay. Cause selling is too hard when it's all on you. So Melissa, you mind if I talk to you people that way? I don't want them to, I don't want anybody to burst into tears now. Okay? Absolutely, Mr. Young. Okay. Go ahead. The bad thing about me, well, the good thing about me is I tell the truth. The bad thing about me for some of y'all is I tell the truth. Okay. So, but you know, it, it all comes down to one sentence, I think, to me. What do you want? That drives everything. You know, what, what you know, you know, you got to know what you're doing. All right. You don't just go out there and just throw stuff around. You got to know what you're doing, but I promise you those people that want more win bigger. And that that's, that's the whole deal. See, I found out a long time ago, if somebody wants something bad enough, they'll go figure out how to do it. And, and what, what we do here, we have so much stuff. I mean, you could go in Quiddity and pitch a tent, you know, you could live there for years trying to learn everything that's in quality. And that'd be awesome if, if you're in the business of learning stuff. But if you're, if you're in the business of wanting something, wanting to, to have a, a life financially that you really, really want, you're gonna have to build something. And that, that is an entirely different skill set from writing insurance, you know? Because you can go, look, you can go learn the products. You could really learn enough about products to make a what I consider, I guess, a decent amount of money, two, 300,000 a year, you could, you could learn that in 90 days, but the people side of this thing, you can't learn in 90 years. There's just too much, too many different kinds of people. And you have to learn how to deal with all of them, you know, if you're going to build something big. And so that's, that's all I've done. Well, is I've, I have, I've built my agency brick at a time, brick at a time, brick at a time, brick at a time. And, you know, you want to get somebody here, you want to recruit somebody and you want them to stay. But if you don't do things right, if you're not looking for the right kind of people and, and you're not doing the right things with them when you get them, then they're not going to stay. Okay. So I said something, of course, you know, I'm from Louisiana, listen. And I said, I, I focus on the three R's. Okay. The three R's are writing, writers, and retention. Okay. So a lot of people recruit a lot of people, but they lose a lot of people. See, it doesn't, it, it doesn't make sense to me if you're gonna recruit people to be trying to recruit them faster than they quit. That doesn't make sense at all. You're not gonna build anything sturdy. But, but the message I want initially for new people is that your, your success here is 100% gonna be determined by what you want because what you want determines what you do. And not just here, I mean, in your life, what you want determines what you do and what you do determines what you get. So if you want to get more, you're going to have to do more. But if you're going to do more, you, this, this is what, this is the, 
the gotcha, okay? If you're gonna do more, you have to become more. You gotta become stronger. You gotta become a bigger person. You, you have to grow mentally. The reason I have 300 and something writers in a month, Melissa, is because I have, I have become strong enough psychologically to handle 300 and something writers a month. See, Jim Russman is trying to get to 120. What he is finding out, and Melissa, I think you and I talked about this in Cancun. What he's finding out is the person that got him to 115 can't get him to 120. See, he's got to be a bigger person. He's got to have more people. And, and the way you have more people is to, be, is to grow yourself bigger so that you can handle more people. See, that, that's my job. I only have three jobs. I've been doing that for 38 years, okay? Number one is I got to grow myself. See, if I want to go from 380 something riders to 500 riders, I got to get bigger. I have to get bigger or else I won't be psychologically strong enough to be able to handle that many riders, okay? So my number one job is to grow myself. My number two job is to identify players. See, I have to determine every day of my life who gets my time because I only have so much. Same match y'all have, okay? And every minute, Melissa, that you give to the wrong person is a minute that you stole from the right person. You can't get that minute back. So I'm, I'm very, very good at identifying players because, I mean, players basically identify themselves. You know, they, they ask the right questions. They go to stuff. They get on your huddles. They, you know, they're on the calls. They self-improve. They work hard. They have a good attitude. So they identify themselves. I just have, as a coach, I just have to pay attention, okay? And so, but that's my second thing. I got to identify players. And the third thing is I have to develop leaders. The reason Marshall is the, and Edward are the top two people in this company is not because they write more premium, it's because they have developed more leaders. Plain and simple, okay? And, and look, you can't develop a leader overnight. So you've got, you got some people that showed up today, this may be their first call, but listen, they have no idea if they do the right things long enough, they have no idea what their life's gonna look like a year, two, three, four, five years down the road. It's just incredible what somebody can do. You can go from zero to hero in a heartbeat in this company if you do the right things long enough. You got to know what the right things are and you got to do them long enough. And, and I'm telling you, the, the long enough thing is what gets most people, okay? Because we live in a very strange time, okay? Everybody wants stuff right now. They want to do the work today, get paid today. You know, a microwave takes too long for some people. So this is, this is what we deal with now. We're looking for people that understand and see, you do this, and we talked about this in Cancun, the good stuff, wherever you are, wherever you are today in this business, this is as bad as it's ever going to get for you, if you do the right things long enough, okay? The good stuff, and I don't, once again, I don't care if you're talking about a, a, a new person, you're talking about Melissa, where she is as a direct, the good stuff is down the road. See, when I got here eight years ago, Symmetry did 13 million that, that year, 13 million. Last year, they did 205 million. What do you think things are going to look like when they're doing 500 million and a billion a year? Because that's coming. There's an absolute fact that that's coming. What do you think your life's going to look like then if, if you do the things that keep you here? Because look, understand this new people, they're going to do, they're going to get to 500 million. I mean, they did 205 million last year without you. <laughs> okay. They can get to 500 million without you. What you want to do is make sure you're here when they get there. That makes sense. You got to get yours because if you quit, it's a money buffet. You can get all you want. You can get all you want to work for. But if you quit, you got to take your hands with you. You got to get your hands out of my buffet. So they're going to, they're going to pay out to those people to stay here and fight. And it's going to be a fight. You're going to have bad times. You're going to have bad weeks, bad months. That's part of it. So it's all about what you want. And, and one thing that I like about Melissa, another thing is that, see, she doesn't let things that matter the least impact things that matter the most. See, she, this, this is, <laughs> this is really a, a sad thing. It's a hard thing for most people to understand, but we all have time for the important things. Somebody says, well, I, I just, I can't go to a conference. Well, that's because it's not important to you. See, if it was important to you, you'd go, you'd figure out a way to go. Uh, I, I couldn't run appointments last week because, you know, I had to take my dog to the vet. Well, see, running appointments wasn't important to you. So we, we all have time for the important stuff. If there's somebody, look, if, 
if there's somebody on the call, you got 80 something people on this call. If one of y'all has a three-year-old and you got them locked in the other room, hoping they'd be quiet and play for, you know, half hour. If you hear that child scream, I guarantee you're going to get up and go see, because you can tell if it's a hurt scream. Okay. You can tell you're going to get up. I don't care who's talking. I don't care what's going on. You're going to get up. You're going to get up and go see because it's important. Same thing here. So if you're not getting what you want here, if you're not doing as well as you thought you'd be doing now, or you're not where you thought you would be by now, or you see somebody else that came in the same time you did and they're way ahead of you, it's not because you don't work hard enough. It's because you don't want enough. And if you can accept that, I'm telling you, change your life. So what are we supposed to talk about, Melissa? <laughs> I forgot the question. God, I love you, Danny. Um, no, and and I really love, I, I want to focus a little bit more too on that. You're, you're so good at talking about intentionality and what people want. I know you have so many stories and you've got so many great calls. Um, and I really want you to just keep hitting home. Like, what, what does that why look like? Like, how do you even talk to your new agents when they come in? I know when we were in Cancun, I was just so impressed because I was what what you say makes perfect sense. Like when you're like, we come in and we drown them with the details, right? We squash Absolutely. people's excitement. Like, I Absolutely. want you to kind of share that story with everyone because it, it excited the hell out of me, Danny. So please share. Well, I think the genius of the sweet and low packets was probably the, the thing that got you, okay? You know, <laughs> I have to use what I have at hand. So we're sitting there in the restaurant and, you know, we get a new person in. And I'm telling you, you know, a lot of people come here to get away from a job. You know, they had a job, hated a job, they, they, they don't want to have a job. And then what we do is, the first thing we do is we back up about a 12 yard dump truck on them and just dump stuff on them, but we just suffocate them. You know, we need you to get, we need you to get on quilting. We need you to get in summer. We need to do the fast track. We need you to, you know, we need you, we got 42 phone calls a week. Matter of fact, we need you to get on. Okay. And so all of a sudden they can't breathe. They forgot why they came here because now all the, there's all this stuff that you say they have to do. I don't, I don't do any of that stuff. I look, for example, any of y'all that have kids, okay? If you remember, try to remember having your first child. Whatever your life looked like before that moment is gone, okay? You will never have that life again. That one child changed everything. Every decision is based on that child. And yet you don't expect that infant to feed themselves or dress themselves, they can't do any of that stuff. You have to do it for them, okay? It's the same thing here when we get a new person. They look, they can't dress themselves. They can't feed themselves. We have to, we have to lead them from, from point A to point B. We don't just dump stuff on them because we're gonna suffocate them and they're gonna quit because day one, we make it feel like a job. They came here to get away from a job. I talk to new people. First of all, I don't tell people stuff. I ask people stuff. I don't assume that people come here to make a lot of money. I want to know why they came here because why they're here, what they want from symmetry is going to determine how I coach them or if I coach them, you know, so I'm going to, my, my first conversation with a new person is pretty simple. I'm going to give them a pop quiz. Okay. And I tell them it's a pop quiz. Only two questions. Number one, do you want to, do you want to come here and just produce? Okay, do you want, we have leads, you have access to our leads, you want to get leads and make dials and set appointments and run appointments and write apps and get them issued and get paid. You can do that, you can do it once a month, you can do it once an hour. We don't care, okay? It's based on what you want to make, whatever you want from symmetry. <clears throat> so you can do that. And look, you can do that till the cows come home. You can do it forever, we don't care. Or, Option B is you can build an agency. You can recruit, train, help us, help us train. We're going to do most of the heavy lifting for you early on and build an agency that down the road you can own that will stay in your family for generations that will, that will generate money to you and your family, not only when you work, but when you don't work. Now, once again, I don't care which one you do. Okay. We got people, we got a lot of people just producing. We got a lot of people building whatever you want to do. And so I, I, I asked them, I need an answer. Okay. And the people I recruit, by the way, they all say they want to build because it makes no sense to me. And they know I've built and it makes no sense to me why somebody wouldn't build. But if they say they want to build, I say, okay, here's, 
Here's question number two of your pop quiz. Who do you want to build with? See, understand that the majority of people in symmetry, the majority, co-market recruit. I know Keyshawn is like 100% co-market recruiting, okay? And here's, here's how that works, okay? Doesn't matter how you get them. You can, you can do Zip Recruiter or Indeed, or, or you can go stand on a street corner with a sign that says, I'm looking for recruits. It doesn't matter to me, okay? But it's, it's, it's people you don't know. <clears throat> and you recruit one direct to me. Direct to me, direct to me, direct to me, direct to me, direct to me. So when you recruit somebody to Colmar, they'll direct to you. Okay. So you are, you are growing by addition. All right. You're adding people, you're adding people. Most of y'all know this. I don't co market recruit. I never have. I'm, I'm 38 years in the insurance business and the building insurance business. And I'm still, my, my recruiting budget is still zero. Okay. I've never spent a dollar recruiting. And so, I mean, I figure there's over 200 million people out there right now between the ages of 18 and 75. That's our recruiting market. I figure I can, I don't have to pay for those people. You know, I can go, I can, I get the people. Well, listen, here's my secret. Okay. Don't tell anybody. I get the people I want through the people I have. How about that idea? Okay. For example, I recruited a person in December of 2006. What's that? 16 years ago, 2006 ran into a, fr a friend of mine. I hadn't seen him in three or four years, but I had, he had been in the same with the same company I was with for 20 something years, but he had been there about 18 months part-time. He hated it, but I ran into him outside a coffee shop and he said, are you still with Primerica? I said, matter of fact, I'm not. I had, look, I had been in the mortgage protection business now for almost three months, hadn't recruited a soul, hadn't planned on ever recruiting a soul because I recruited a bunch of people in Prime America and they all quit, seemed like. And so I was just tired of people quitting. So I was just going to, I saw leads in mortgage protection. I was just going to get leads and write apps and make myself 200,000, 250,000 a year. I would be fine. I run into this guy and he said, uh, are you still with Prime America? No, I'm not. Um, now I showed him, I, I had a lead sheet with me. So I showed him a lead sheet and he said, you think I could make a thousand bucks a month working with you part-time? I said, Hey, I, I don't know. I just started myself. Let's see. Look, took this guy six weeks to get his license back because he'd let it lapse six weeks In six weeks. He brought me 36 people, all of them friends of his. One of them was a lady in Sacramento, California, friend of his. We recruited her. She recruited a friend of hers in, in Oklahoma city, Oklahoma. He recruited a friend of his in Oklahoma city, Oklahoma. He recruited a friend of his in Tulsa, Oklahoma, named Tom Chisholm. Tom Chisholm recruited Ashley Tarr. Ashley Tarr recruited Sarah Pappas. And all of a sudden, I become a genius because I ran into a guy outside a coffee shop. But I was, you know, I talked to him. I had something to say to him, okay? And he knew me. He, he had known me for probably 10 years, never known me to be a fool. So if I said something, you know, he would at least listen to me. So understand this, that one guy, outside a coffee shop, random, running into him. 2006, that one guy who only lasted a year, Sacramento lady lasted about three years then became a life coach with John Maxwell. Two Oklahoma City guys lasted a little while, but Tom Chisholm's still here. Y'all know about Ashley Tari, know about Sarah Pappas and everything they have, okay? But that one guy, one person, Last year was, was responsible for about 15 million of our 22 million we did last year, one guy. So when you think you gotta come here and get a hundred people, you don't, go get one. How about, let's start with one. Put that person in the system because what you, here's, here's the way Symmetry's got it set up now, Melissa. You go find somebody, and I don't care how you find them, but you go find somebody, they say, I wanna do this. You bring them to Symmetry and you put them in, in Quiddity. You put them in the summit, okay? Don't stand there and watch them try to climb. Go get somebody else. It's like going to get firewood. You know, you, you the one got to get firewood. You go get the firewood, you come back, you dump it on the fire, you light a fire. You don't just stand there and watch it because it's going to go out, okay? Go get more firewood. That's what you need, more firewood. Because if you get enough, somebody is going to bring you 36 in six weeks. That's the way it works. But in a coal market, see, here, here's the, the, to me, and once again, I don't care how anybody recruits. I don't care. But when you go get somebody and they're direct to you, you, you can't teach them. 
you can't teach them how to get somebody day one like you got them. It's not transferable. Does that make sense? But see, I could go get this guy out of the coffee shop and the next day he, he can bring me somebody he knows. That's how I do it. I do three-way calls, Melissa, every day of my life, okay, with my people. Because what I want, see, I understood this a long time ago. My, and you hear it on the calls, you know, your, your, your agency is going to grow at the speed of trust. Well, I, I turned 75 two weeks ago. I, I, don't, I don't have eight months to build trust with somebody, okay? I'm going to start with trust. And either it's going to be the tr they trust me because they know me, you know, prior to me talking to them, or they know my agent that got me to talk to them. So they're going to trust me a little bit because they trust their friend. All right. So the, here's the problem with cold market recruiting. You cannot go boom in a cold market because it's all addition. But see, I got one guy, think about this. I got one guy 16 years ago that was a vein of gold and I am mining that vein of gold still. 16 years later and will continue to mine that gold. Meanwhile, cold market people have their pan. They're, they're, they're panning for gold in California. They go down to the stream and run that pan through mud and they shake that thing, hoping to find something that, that shines. I'm not interested in being out in the hot sun shaking. See, I'm, I just don't have, I don't have the pain threshold that some of y'all do. Okay. I don't like, I mean, I, I hear, I hear people talk. They say, you know, 50 interviews a week. I'm, I almost just throw up hearing that 50 interviews a week. God knows trying to convince somebody that an opportunity is better than a job. I don't want to do that. Okay. I want people, look, I'm looking for people, Melissa, that are looking for me. And there's a lot of them out there looking for me that don't even know I live. I'm alive. Okay. They don't know symmetry is even in existence. Those are the people I'm looking for. And if I can sit there, once again, every new person I get, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have that conversation. Do you want to produce? Do you want to build? If you want to build, let's talk about who you want to build with. See, because you understand everybody. Everybody's got somebody that they know, that trust them enough to have a, to watch a couple of videos that we send them, about, you know, 15 minutes worth of videos and have a three-way call. Everybody knows somebody like that. And, and a lot of people know they're best friends with an Edward Pritchett you know, or Brian Delaney or Melissa Weagle. Because when I look at people here, this will help you, Melissa, all this stuff. See, when most people look at a new recruit, they look at, they see one person who they hope can write insurance and they can make an override. When I look at one person, I see them and everybody they know. I want to know who they know. And so we're going to talk about that. Let's talk about who you know. You know, anybody that, that could use an extra $1,500, $2,000 a month part-time won't affect their full-time job at all. You know anybody like that? Now, look, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in talking to your uncle that hadn't worked since 1970, okay? I don't want to talk to him yet. We'll put him on the back burner. I don't want to talk to your other uncle that's had 42 jobs this year, okay? I want stable people. I want people that, you know, I want the, 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 the guy that's coaching his kid's team. I want the, the den mother, the homeroom mother, that sort of thing, okay? This is what I want. You know anybody like that? And we just, we just, if he does, we don't look, we we send him two videos, 15 minutes. <clears throat> and then he sends the emails and the videos. And then I have him text these people and say, look, I just sent you two videos, company I just went to work with part-time. He said, I'm trying to make an extra thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars a month, you know, pay tuition or pay for Christmas or whatever. I don't care. When you get a chance, take a look at them. And if you see something you like, let me know. And that, look, that is it. Okay. We don't call them every day and say, have you, have you watched it yet? Have you watched? We don't, we don't harass them. What we're looking for are people that are looking for us. And those people will text him back. They'll call them and say, Hey, look, I'm, this is kind of interesting. I'd like to hear more. Then we set up a three-way call with my new recruit, who's the credibility, me, who's the expertise and a new person who will listen to me for 20 minutes. And most of them, I'm telling you, Melissa, most of them that I talk to try. Do they all make it? No, but they try. And that's all I want because it, look, when I get a new one, I'm talking to them. See, you can look at your organization, Melissa, and your AOs can look at your organization. You draw it on the board. Everybody's got their organization on the board. You know, got your name in a circle and draw it down and got another circle. Everybody, everybody on your team, 
that doesn't have a line leaving their circle, which means they've got somebody, every one of those people are at, at risk of quitting today. And let me, let me tell you this secret, okay? Products won't keep them here. Leads won't keep them here. Contracts won't keep them here. Money won't even keep them here. Huddle-ups, damn sure won't keep them here, okay? Only thing that's gonna keep somebody here is having somebody because they don't want to leave because their somebody may become a superstar and they don't want to miss out on that. So greed kicks in. Okay. So if you want to do, if you want, if you want a strong organization, you better be obsessed with getting everybody you have somebody. And then when you get them somebody, you better get obsessed about getting them somebody. The only thing that keeps them here. I mean, this is just, this is human nature, man, human nature. Those people that are out there, look, I've seen people writing 40,000 a month, 30, 40, 30, 40, 30, 40,000 a month for, you know, two years. Then they quit because it's just too hard for it to all be on you. Too hard. It, you, look, there comes a day where you cannot dial. You psychologically are burnt. So I don't know how we got on that. I don't even know if that's what you want me to talk about, okay? I feel like that was a solid I've got, I've got 13 minutes and I got to go, I got to go mess up another team. Okay. So <laughs> what, what do you want to talk about now? Yeah, no, I was going to remind you that you only have 13 minutes left. And um, I mean, there, I just, I have like pages of notes. So Alex, I love that you're taking those notes. Um, I mean, just that recap of you really, really, Danny, always hit home in terms of, I love the what you want determines what you do, what you do determines what you never, get. Look, what you never going to change, you okay? This is, that's never going to change. It's like the law of gravity. Law of gravity says if you walk up on a building, top of a building, you step off, you're not going up. You're going down. And you're going down 100% of the time. Now, look, I don't know how the law of gravity works. I have no idea how it works. I just know I'm going down, okay? There are laws in this business. That's one of them. What you want determines what you do. What you do determines what you get. So I've got people, look, I've got, I watch agency owners. They do and do and do, and their numbers don't grow. Here's what that tells me. What you're doing doesn't work. Am I the only one that sees this? Okay, your numbers tell you if what you're doing is working. If your numbers aren't growing, it means you aren't growing, and it means you aren't doing what works for you. See, Melissa can get on a Wednesday call, and she can hear somebody say, look, we we did this and boy, we're just killing it now. And she can decide to go do that. Well, it, look, it doesn't mean that because it worked for this person gonna work for you. You gotta find out what works for you. Russman had to dig around for years to find out what worked for him. He finally figured it out and now he's doing just that. That's why he's you know pushing 120. Simple stuff, you gotta figure out what works for you. I don't, look, I don't care what Marshall does. I don't care what Edward does. I don't care what Linwood does. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. It works for them. I'm fired up for them. They set the pace. It's not going to work for me. I know what works for me. I found that out a long time ago. What works for me is to go get somebody that trusts me enough to come here, try, and I'm going to get them somebody, and I'm going to get them somebody, and I'm going to get them somebody, and I'm going to put them, look, I'm going to bring them in. I'm going to give them a practice uniform. We're going to put them on the field. We're going to proceed to beat the crap out of them. And we're going to see who goes home to mama. That's what we're going to do. That's how I build my team because I'm a coach. See, I'm looking for people that want something. I can teach you how to cook. I cannot teach you how to be hungry. We're looking for people who are hungry. Some of y'all are trying to take a mule and train that mule to win the Kentucky Derby. It's not going to work. I'm just, I'm telling you, you can do that for a hundred years. You heard that thing about people trying to teach a pig to sing. Pig is not going to learn how to sing, and you're going to be frustrated. I don't do that kind of stuff, okay? I do stuff that works. And how do I know it works? Because I did all that stuff that doesn't work years ago. And I stopped trying to do that. You know, you're beating your head against the wall, and you say, well, I think things will get better if I beat it against the wall longer and harder. No, it's not going to get better, okay? You need to counsel. There are people. There are people that know what you should be doing. Melissa knows what you should be doing. If you're new, because she, look, every mistake you can think of, she's already made. Her job is to keep you from making them. I mean, if you, look, if you got a kid that's going to touch a hot stove three or four times, you might want to think of therapy for the kid or something, okay? Same thing with your people. I mean, good Lord. 
How many times can you make the same mistake? I, I don't get that at all. Because mistakes around here cost you money. You just hope that, that the ones you make don't cost you a lot of money. All right. Well, you, look, you can go. This is the stupidest thing in the history of the world, this, this company. They, what they're doing in the background, the stuff they're coming out with, they've already come out with a bunch of it, but they got so much left, it's unbelievable. It's designed to do two things. It's designed to do, to, to free up time for the Melissa Weagles of the world, okay? Time. Quillity is gonna take care of training your people. You don't have to spend, you know, 40 hours a week trying to train somebody. Quillity is gonna do that, okay? So it's gonna free up time for us to go do the important stuff, which is to build something that helps symmetry grow. The second thing they're doing, every single thing that they have working is designed to create more passive income for us, okay? I call it MPI, Massive Passive Income. This is income that you get paid when somebody else works or for, for business you've done. Look, I got, I got $4,800 last month from QMS for business that, that was written years ago. I, don't know where it came from, don't know who it came from, don't care where it came from. I know where it went, it went in my account, okay? So this, it's just stupid stuff. This is why This is why you gotta grab hold. On those days, this is what I know. Melissa, this is another law of gravity, okay? When you hit a rough patch and you're going to, maybe a day, maybe a week, maybe a month, but when you hit a rough patch, here's what I know, this is the law. At that point, what you know will not get you through it. Only thing that'll get you through that rough patch is what you want. So you better figure out what you want and it better be important enough to you to get you to do the things today in order to get what you want down the road. Cause the good stuff's down the road. I'm telling you that rainbow is down the road. I mean, you understand this equity appreciation rights things that, that we're getting. You understand there are people like, like Marshall and Edward they, they, may, they may come out of this thing with 70, $80 million. That doesn't affect their, their, the income they're making now at all. This is extra, okay? It's a bonus. This is, this is unbelievable. How many of y'all would work? Think about this. Melissa, even, even people that, that, that just qualified as a producer last year and this year, say, two years of, of producing, this may be worth eight nine $900,000 to them. Now you tell me where can you go work for two years and at the end of two years have eight or nine hundred thousand dollars in your 401k because this is kind of like what this is for okay nowhere in the world can you get that okay but once again it's gonna take a lot of work it's gonna take a lot of frustration it's gonna take a lot of a lot a lot a lot it's gonna take a lot of stuff okay but those people that can just grab on to somebody like Melissa Weagle just grab on you know you don't know where she's going but I promise you this she's going a hell of a lot better place than you're headed okay grab on to her and go with her go through those rough times just just get up every day and work and you get better look every every dial you make you get better every appointment you have you get better every book you read every every call you get on most of this stuff is microscopic you don't know you don't know that you're better other people will realize that you're better before you do so you just gotta you gotta show up every day Get up, get up, get show up. That's, that's all I do. You know, I get up in the morning, my feet hit the hit the floor, and I'm when my my face doesn't follow, it's a good day coming. I'm telling you, it's a good day. <laughs> We're just thankful that you're still alive, Danny, because you're only like 39 years yeah, old. I, know, so I, ain't dead, I ain't done. I got stuff to do. I get to compete with with people that are about 100 years younger than me. I'm fired up about that. This is the most fair company in the world. Okay, if I can if I can develop more leaders. I'm gonna meet. I'm gonna beat most people the way it is. And that's what I look for. I'm not. I'm not looking for people to come sell insurance. They're gonna quit. Okay, down the road. I'm looking for people who want to come here and build, become a leader, change their life while they're changing other people's lives. That's what you're doing. You're you're changing your life, Melissa, because of the help that you're giving your people to change their life. That's what this thing's about. So everybody helps everybody. Hopefully. Successful. Successful.